we're now at the choice point. Like this is this is it. Like we're here, and I don't know how many chances, and I don't know how many runs we got at it. It feels to me like this is a really important one, and that's why, like, I'm just all in. I'm all in because I see the potential, like what I see with AI and what I see with all of the challenges in Russia and China, all of these things. It's like so much stuff is going on on the tech side. So much stuff is going on in the in the world that is destabilizing. You know, the way I see us moving through this is yes, all of us. You know, becoming aware, working on ourselves, like awakening our own consciousness, but also abiding in a world and a government that has principles, first principles and values like honesty and truth and the ability to listen. And uh, and I see this as a necessary miracle that's going to allow this to happen. You're going to be the next president, and I and I I just know that in my bones, and I believe it, and uh, and it requires all of us. Every one of us to do everything we can, and that's the only way. It's the paradox. It's going to happen, and we all have to do everything that we can because it matters now. It matters now. It matters now more than it's ever mattered. If you like this video and you want to help me become president of the United States, go to Kennedy24.com and donate now. Hey, everybody. Last June, on a campaign retreat on a little farm outside of Cleveland, I pulled a chair out next to the farm pond and I made an appeal to our listeners to raise money. In three days, you raised me three million dollars. When I sat next to that lake, I told you we're not getting any money from corporate donors, and we haven't made any billionaire friends since the last time I talked to you. We have made a lot of new enemies, including the DNC and the Biden administration, the White House, and Congress. We don't need the billions of dollars that they've gotten from their corporate donors to use to fight me. Uh, but we do need enough money for me to put up this battle. Now we're at the end of the second quarter, September 30th, and we're required again to do our filing with the FEC, which will be made public. So I'm appealing to your generosity one more time, and please go to Kennedy24.com, as I promised you during my announcement speech. You give me a piece of ground and a sword, and I am going to take back this country. Is there an event that made you into an environmentalist? My brothers and I used to go every afternoon when we got off of school to catch salamanders and bullfrogs and green frogs and crayfish and mud puppies. And we got big rain storms and thunderstorms in the springtime in Virginia. And the mud puddles would form on the road in the ditches and the rivets in the road. And those would be loaded with hat puddles frog's eggs and they'd just be bubbling cauldron of life when I was a kid and I just I loved that and we would spend hour after hour in that stream and in the pond turning over rocks and then bulldozers came one day and plowed it under 
And I experienced that as this momentous sense of loss. My kids will never see that. They'll never see the explosions of color that I saw when I was a kid. They don't know what they've lost. And it's that fabric, that tapestry of life. St. Augustine, he talked about the idea that God talks to us most eloquently through creation. And that creation is like that every rock is a word, every brook and every leaf is a phrase or a lesson that God has for us. There, there's something that we can learn from just sitting and observing nature that we can learn about our Creator. If you like this video and you want to help me become President of the United States, go to Kennedy24.com and donate now.